How to study for the AWS Solutions Architect Certification. I'll start off with a real obvious one, which is know the exam blueprint. You, you need to know what you're studying, right? So go to Google, type in AWS certification. Currently, the only one that exists is the Solution Architect Associate. Uh, right here, you see the big picture of everything that you are expected to know. But if you scroll down, you see the exam blueprint. Takes you right over here, which gives you all the topics. Now, looking at this, when you see the general IT knowledge, it gives you the feel like, man, I got to be a stud. I got to be a programmer, a database administrator. No, you do not. You only need to know IT technology as it relates to AWS. AWS doesn't really care if you know Git statements to, up, uh, to, to pull information from SQL tables or uh, know how to do uh, Windows updates or things like that, but they do want you to know that you can run a relational database on AWS and what, those, what that would look like. They do want you to know that it is good for you to run Windows updates so that your system is patched because they use a shared security model. Again, more on that later. But anyway, that's, that's, that's the big picture is all of this IT knowledge is as it relates to AWS. Now, as you scroll down, I mean, these things get nice and broad, like, you know, design a, it's kind of like design something on AWS. What's the best practices for that? It's, it's like, whoa, but at least it gives you a, a somewhat of a focus to focus in on it, right? So second thing is psych yourself out. I know that sounds funny, but, but seriously, I have studied for a lot of different exams and I find that if I don't almost trick myself sometimes into thinking I'm going to be standing in front of a classroom and all these people are going to be grilling me on questions or, or something like that. I just fall asleep. You know, I'll be reading. I'm like, Ugh, you know, but if I, if I, and I know this sounds weird, but if I'm almost like, Jeremy, tomorrow you're going to be standing there and people are going to be asking you questions about this, or you are going to be responsible to train such and such about it. I mean, uh, I just, uh, for some reason, I can't, I, I fall asleep uh, reading it. I know that sounds funny, but that's that's uh, a key part of my studies. Uh, of course, you know, I am from CVT Nuggets, so I will recommend CVT Nuggets, which currently, again, as of today, is the only one who offers a complete uh, online training solutions for this exam. So uh, enough said on that. Now read the white papers. Now, this is straight from the exam uh, study. So I know that you probably know this in looking at it, but can I highlight a few key ones? That guy and that guy. Now, they are, don't, don't hear me say just skip the other ones, but if you're going to pour over it, if you're going to have your highlighter out, the first one and the last one are, are big ones. You, <laughs> I'm like, ding, 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 winner. You know, you definitely want to know those, right? Next up, understand the AWS services. I, I know that there are a lot of them. And there's probably a lot of these that you just don't use every day, but you'll want to know, you'll, you'll want to be able to look at each one of these. And if somebody says, hey, uh, Elastic MapReduce, be able to tell them what that does. If somebody says, oh, what's uh, SNS versus SES? You know, again, without seeing the uh, explanation or the acronym, I should say, spelled underneath, be able to answer what these guys do. Think about the name of the exam as well. This is a certified solutions architect. This is not the guy who's in there in the nitty gritty configuring CloudWatch sensors and I click here and I click this to do this and let me set up an S3 bucket. And this is not the configurator if I can make up a word. Uh, this is somebody who is designing the whole thing. So when you're thinking about it, the main thing that a designer does is come and put a solution together. He sees the issue. I've got a server I need to run. It's got to notify this person. It's got to, you know, blah, blah, blah. He sees all the requirements and he goes, okay, I'm going to need one of these, 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 uh, even that service right there. I'm going to have to put all those together into uh, this big solution. That's a lot of what the exam feels like. The question will be, do you know how to assemble an amazing best practice redundant elastic solution in AWS based on the requirements that are given to you? So that's, that's the feel of the solutions architect. Uh, of course, uh, even though this isn't about doing it, I will say if you are just somebody who's read books, it's, it's like a doctor who's like, well, this is my first time uh, uh, cutting, but I've read a lot of books about this. I mean, you don't, you don't want that doctor, right? Same thing here, Solutions Architect, you will get just so much more depth and knowledge to what you're doing, and it'll just make a lot more sense if you do it. And the beauty of AWS is like, come on down, you know, they'll give you a free account for a year, run a micro instance. You got, I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can try. In the series, that I've uh, created for CBT Nuggets, uh, there are a, a bunch of labs, a bunch of things that you can follow along as I'm doing them. But I mean, even if you're not, I'm here for you all. Just Google AWS labs. And there, I mean, a Amazon themselves has even written a lot of them. So try and find one that aligns to the topic that you're studying based on that blueprint and run through it. it if, if nothing more, even if the exact configuration isn't on the exam, it'll help solidify the concepts so much more for you. 
Now, the exam is always subject to change, but as of today, it is a laundry list of multiple choice questions, not simulations, not drag and drop and build topologies and all the kind of things that some of the other certifications have, but the multiple choice questions can be very deep, meaning uh, it may be that you get a multiple choice question that you just you get the feel that if you haven't done this before, you probably wouldn't know the answer to that. Is it, do you know what I mean? So, for instance, you might read a paper on how SNS works. I'm just pulling a topic out of the air. You might know how SNS works, but a, a question when you're taking the certification exam might be asked in such a way that you wouldn't know the answer unless you had actually done it, unless you'd actually seen and you click and you're like, oh, wow, I didn't expect to see that. Okay, well, you know, let me answer. So, so that, that's why I really emphasize not just reading the papers, but playing with it and really getting that depth to your knowledge. Well, my name is Jeremy Chara. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.